Hi, in this video I will show you how to create an event-driven AI system with Langchain and Kafka. We will build a real-time classifier system that classifies emails and processes them. So first of all, what is Kafka? Apache Kafka is an open-source distributed event streaming platform that functions using a system of brokers and topics. A broker in Kafka refers to a server that stores and facilitates the transition of data messages. These messages are organized into what are known as topics, which essentially serve as distinct categories of feeds of data. So-called producers write data into these topics and consumers read data from them, enabling efficient real-time data processing. We will build multiple microservices which implement producers and consumers, we do it with Python and we containerize each of the service. You can follow along by cloning the repository from the description. Okay, I'm here in VS Code and as you can see, here are multiple folders on the left and we've got one Docker Compose file. This is the most important file because it serves as the orchestrator for our services. We've got multiple uh, microservices here. As you can see, the most important one is actually Kafka because it enables us to use an event-driven architecture. And we also use it in combination with Zookeeper, which um, handles all of the necessary setup for Kafka. and then we've got our microservices here. We've got Kafka in it. This is just responsible for creating the topics. I will show you the topics here in the uh, createTopics.py file. Then we've got an email classifier. This service is responsible for classifying emails into three categories. And we've got the order cancellation. We've got a review processor and we've got an inquiry processor. So these are our three follow-up microservices. And based on the classification here, it will write the email message in the corresponding topic and this microservice will consume the topic and process the information. So this is the setup for our application. And first uh, we need to set up Kafka. So to work with Kafka, we have to set up multiple topics. I use the um, Python package, Confluent Kafka for it, and use the admin client to create some kind of topics. So first we've got this function, create topic, and we can set a topic name. And then we first have to set up the admin client uh, class here with our server and the corresponding um, port here for Kafka. Then we have got this admin class and with this admin class, we can create a new topic and we can tell how many partitions it should have and how many replicas it should have. And then we can use the create topic function or method here from um, the admin class. Actually it has the same name as uh, the function I defined here, but it doesn't really matter because this is related to the admin class. And here we've got a list of topics. We could also pass it here as list, but I think this is fine to make it in a loop. And here you can see we've got four topics. Raw emails, this is the first topic where we write our emails to. We've got a first producer that can be any client and we save any email in this raw emails topic. And then the classification service subscribes to this topic and then classifies the raw email and writes the classified email to the corresponding other topic. So it's if it's a cancellation, it will write it here. If it's a review, it will write it here. And if it's an inquiry email, it will write it in this topic. And then each of the microservice which uh, uses this topic can now handle the email in its own custom way. Okay, after creating a topic, we can now simulate the uh, customers with some kind of emails. And as you can see here, this is a simulation for the cancellation and there are some other emails and we want the LLM to classify these emails. Okay, we will now loop over the emails list and use the produce method from the producer to write each email in the raw emails topic. And this is the message we write in the topic. And we can also use a callback uh, here, which is a delivery report we can just log here if everything works as expected and to which topic we wrote our email. Okay, then we use the flush function here and then we also use the time.sleep function here to just make it a little bit slower. It's unnecessary, but I think it's more realistic for emails not to appear in the inbox in just a few milliseconds. Okay, now let's look at the most important service, which is actually the first microservice and this is the email classifier. We will take a look at the service.py here and as you can see, we use a lot of Langchain classes here, chat open AI, the response schema and the structured output parser. What we want to do here is to create a response schema and the response schema is the category. And the description is, is the email in cancellation, revy or inquiry only provide these words. So we want the distinct category 
of this email, but we don't want any additional text. As you can see in the template, we also say return only the JSON, do not add anything, no interpretation. So this is very important for the LLM to work correctly. If you miss that line, sometimes the LLM will produce some text even with a zero temperature. And yeah, then we can create our prompt template and the chat open AI class. And we can create now a function, the classify email function. And here we use um, the email as input and we pass in the email here as input for the prompt. And then we use the chat function, which is here the instance of the chat open AI class and process all of the messages, which is actually just a single one. But um, it's, yeah, I think it's the most easy to, easy to set up with um, chat open AI, even if you don't need a history. And then we use the parser to parse the content, which should be in JSON format and make an, a dictionary from it. And then we extract the category from this dictionary. Okay, after defining the function for classifying our emails, we want to set up a consumer because we want to consume the raw emails a topic and we instantiate a consumer with um, the bootstrap server which is kafka and the correct port and then we subscribe to a, a specific topic we can also use multiple topics but we only want to subscribe to one which is raw emails and now if a producer writes to this topic which is actually the send mails.py file this is the producer here then we will just listen to this topic and process these raw emails after processing the emails, we also want to write it into another topic. That's why we have to instantiate also the producer class here. So we've got a consumer and a producer in this service. So again, this um, listens here to Kafka and the correct port. And now we can set up a while loop and this pulls the information every um, second and checks if the message is none, it will continue, pull it again. And if we've got a message, we want to get the email here. And then we pass the email to the classify email function and we retrieve the category from it. The category is either cancellation, review or inquiry. And we've got three topics, cancellation emails, review emails and inquiry emails. You can see it here again. These are the names of the topics and we map the categories in this file to a specific topic. So we extract here the correct topic for the category and if we don't have it, we have an unknown category, which actually won't be used and because we don't want to process it. And then we just write the email with the correct category to the follow up topic. We also pass in email here to actually allow the follow up service to do whatever it wants with the email. Okay, now let's take a look at the other services. To be honest, I didn't implement any logic here. We just use the consumer here and subscribe to the correct topics. So inquiry emails for this service and we use order cancellation emails topic for this service. And then at the end, review emails for this service. And we just log here the information received review email. We could process the information in another way, write it to another topic or whatever we want. But this project here is in general more about the architecture with an event driven system and not so much about actually implementing the logic of some kind of different email service. Okay, that's it with the code. If you want to start the services, you can just run docker compose and then up and then minus minus build to actually build the images. This will take a long time for you because Kafka and Zookeeper are pretty large images which take up a lot of space. So make sure you've got a lot of space on your computer if you use the repository. And it also takes some time to actually launch the application. But this should have worked and I can also see the service exited with uh, code zero. This was the Kafka in it and this created the topics which we use. Okay, let's get into another shell and use Docker PS. As you can see, everything should be set up correctly. And we can now use Python send mails.py. And here we can see delivered to raw emails. And we wait three seconds. And again, we wait. And here we can see the email was classified, categorized as cancellation. Here we can see message delivered to cancellation emails, categorized as review, classified as review and message delivered to review emails and so on and so on. So this works and now you could process the emails in a way you want to. 
But yeah, that's it. We built an event-driven AI system that classifies our email and you can of course play around with the code and do whatever you want with it. So please let me know in the comments what do you think about this architecture. And if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you, bye bye.